Away from here. Stop torturing these animals. Who is this cow? This is the form of Mother Earth. Who is this bull? He is the symbol of religion. The three legs of dharma have been destroyed. Only one limb of dharma stage. He is the person coming from Lanka. We should not give him shelter. But what Ram Chandra said? Lord Ram Chandra said he had opinions, heard opinions of everyone. And then he asked Hanuman, Hanuman, you tell me what to do. Hanuman said, Prabhu, I have seen Vivishan. He lived in Lanka. But he is a pure devotee of yours. Even the, the fear of Ravan, he used to chant your names. He used to wake up at 2 o'clock at night and chant your names. So you in the room of Vivishan, there was Ra and Ma. Ram. And he asked Vivishan, Ravan came. Why are you, have you written the name of my enemy Ram? Vivishan said, No, no, no. no. This is not, not Ram. This is Ra means Ravan. Ma means Meghnath. So this is the meaning of Ra. Ma. That's what Vivishan said. People who do bhajan, they have a very sharp mind. So Ravan said, Okay, this is good. Let it be here. So Hanumanji is saying, I have seen Vivishan. Vivishan. And said, He is your devotee. He is your friend. Ramji chale Hanumanji. Ramji chale na Hanumanji bina. He's saying the world does not run without Sri Ram, and Sri Ram doesn't work without Hanuman.
Give Ravan. The vision is far out. And even once any biggest sinners of sinners comes to my lotus feet, I make this promise I will forgive all their sins. But Lord Ramchandra is so Parikshit Maharaj, he said to Kali, he gave four places to Kali. How many places? So Kali Maharaj came to the feet of Parikshit Maharaj. So where? So where there's like playing people playing casino and like lotteries and stuff. That is the place of Kali. People playing satta like lotteries, casinos, and people playing cards, playing cards. That is also place of Kali. Like drinking alcohol, like intoxication, all types of intoxication. All types of intoxication. There's a place of Kali. And, and like putting bad eyes and behaving, mistreating other women is also a place of Kali. This is a sin. It's indulging in illicit activities with other women. And the other one is being very violent with other animals like killing, slaughtering and eating their meat. It's the place of Kali. And Kali was not happy with this. And he said, he said, please give me one more place. And Parishad Maharaj said, what about it? And he said, give me gold. And wherever the gold is, Wherever the gold is, Kali manifests there. So there is a temple of Vishnu, there is always gold there. So 
So there is no place of Kali. Kali there. But wherever else there is gold, is, you have gold in your ears, right? The thieves come and they snatch it away. They snatch it away from you. They will also take half of your ear, and your ear will bleed. I have seen this a lot in Vrindavan near Bhagya Bihari. Bhagya Bihari. These days it's less, but before I have seen it a lot. This is the place of Kali. Kali said, Give me the place of gold. And Parikshit Maharaj gave him that place. And he got the place of Kali gold. And Kali Maharaj got very happy. The King Kali got very happy. He said, I will teach you a lesson. And Parikshit Maharaj. One day he was hunting in the forest and there was a Samik Rishi who was meditating and it was a very hot day, summer day. It was like very sunny. And Parikshit Maharaj went to the Samik Rishi's ashram, place of Samik Rishi, and Samik Rishi was meditating and worshipping at that time. And Parikshit Maharaj said, I am king, offer me water. And Samik Rishi, and Samik Rishi was absorbed in worshipping, meditation, so he didn't listen properly. And King Parikshit said, I am the king. Why don't you offer me water? Why don't you respect me? I will punish you. And at that time, and Kali manifested in form of snake, in a dead snake, and he left there. And with full anger, Parikshit Maharaj, he picked that dead snake up and put it on the on the neck of the rishi, on the saint. And he got very angry that this is not serving me because I'm king. And he went. And the son Singhi of Srimik Rishi, he was playing with his friends. And at that time someone said, see, someone has put a dead snake. Someone has put a dead snake in your father's <laughs> neck. <laughs> and the son, his son got very happy, very angry. He said, who the hell has put snake, a dead snake in my father's neck? He said, whoever has put a snake, in my father's neck. After seven days, Takshak snake will come and he will bite this person and he will die. So this was the curse Parikshit Maharaj received. So after this, Samik Rishi woke up from his meditation and the son said, I have cursed someone. And the Rishi said, who came to my place? He meditated and he saw he saw the king who was thirsty. He came to have some water and I ignored him. So that's why in anger he put this dead snake in my neck. See, Rishi said, Oh child, what have you done? He was king. He was, it was my fault. It was not the fault of the king. The king was thirsty. It was my job. It was my responsibility to offer him water. What is the name of water? What is, what is the name of water? Jeevan. Water is life. Water is life. It's known as life. This is the importance of water. We should give water to everyone. In the month of Vaisak, everyone donates a lot of water, a lot of cold water during the heat summer. 
गिविंग डोनेशन इज ऑलवेज नाइस नो वन कैन लिव विदाउट वॉटर तो राजा आए थे प्याज में तड़प रहे थे so the king was very thirsty pani mangha maine nahi diya and i didn't give him water this is my fault tumne kyun abhishek de diya bhai har raja ji nahi rahe curse him rishi sadhu log kaise rahenge if the king is not here how will we all survive dekho samik is singhi re ga pitaji mein jo abhishek de diya jo hone wala to ho hi gaya and his son said i have given the curse whatever has to happen will happen now fir ek baar jadi निकल जाए लाइक वंस यू शूट एरो विल इट कम बैक नो दैट्स लाइक व्हाट वी स्पीक एवरी टाइम वंस यू हैव स्पोकन इट यू हैव स्पोकन इट उस समय समी कृष्ण ने परीक्षित महाराज के सभा में बुलाए सो दे एंटर इनटू द मीटिंग ऑफ परीक्षित महाराज एंड एक्सप्लेन द मेरे पुत्र ने आपको श्राप दे दिया दिस इज हे किंग माय सन के बाद हैज कर्स्ड यू आपकी मृत्यु दैट आफ्टर 7 डेज यू विल डाई Parishit Maharaj heard that, and he felt very happy. He said, "Wow, for seven days I will be alive." Shadi shadi, dekho parik parikit Maharaj ne. And at the same time, Parishit Maharaj he sent news. Meditate, dan kunno, dan adhikari. Give some donations and meditate, and everyone started to give their opinions. And at that time. सुखदेव गोस्वामी पाद एंटर दैट मीटिंग बहुत सुंदर कथा है समय संक्षेप है दिस इज अ वेरी गुड बुक स्टोरी द सुखदेव गोस्वामी टाइम इज लेस सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट क्विकली सो सुखदेव स्वामी पाद इज नॉट वेयरिंग एनीथिंग और स्त्रियां तो उनके ऊपर और किचड़ आदि फेंकने लगी हंसने लगी एंड वुमेन स्टार्टेड टू मेक फन ऑफ हिम दे थॉट ही इज अ मैड पर्सन they were throwing like mud on him everyone was putting their opinion ek shlok ke dauran uttar de diya and sukhdev go swami par said one shlok and all said jadinam abhinandanam hare namano kirtanam sukhdev go swami baat karne lage sukhdev go swami baat said hey king naam aur बत्तीस अक्षर युक्त इट्स लाइक 32 वर्ड्स एंड 16 पेयर ऑफ वर्ड्स दिस इज हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे कृष्
भागवत का नाम रहता The very dear parrot Suka was kissing the parrot and, and offering love to the to that bird, like kissing the bird, kissing the parrot. And what did Suka bird do? Parrot? He touched. Who has done this? All the stories that they. Speak is going to be pure and divine. So that's why Sukhdev Goswami, whatever he will speak, is like pure bliss, pure amrit, because that is known as amrit. Like if you, so that's why they say Tava Katha Amritam. So this is this is Shrimati Radharani saying. But in reality, this is the story of Radharani herself. Today is the time is very less. We have to do one Monday appearance of one Monday after one hour. Okay or not? We will finish this at eight o'clock. We will appear one Monday and we will finish today's kapha. So Parikshit Maharaj. Sukhdev so, Goswami Pal told a lot of stories in like first canto, a second canto, explain ten qualities. And like Sarga Visarga, Sthan, Kosan, Kuti, Mananta, Isanu Katha, Nirut, Nakti, or Asa. Let's move forward and listen to the, 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 in the He also started third canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Like very beautiful stories of Srimad Bhagavatam. So we should listen to the stories of Kapil Devata. Especially. He explained the stories to his mother. And Devati explained that the son of Devaki, Kapil Dev, his father took sannyas and went away. And after that, and Devati, she said, son, what to do? Your father has gone. He has taken sannyas. You also take, you also prepare to take sannyas now. Give me some knowledge. And Lord himself, in the form of Kapil Dev, he said to his mother Devati, that how do Jeevas come in this material world? And how people leave this material world? He told this katha, story of this to his mother. I'll give you one example. When the person is in the mother's womb, there is like so 
But there's like a pure reproduction process. And there's like it starts from a very tiny cell and it manifests in the form of a human body. And the mother, she, whatever the type of food she eats, it enters the body of the child. So how does a child live in the womb of mother? Do you know? They're like the, their head is down. So try to try to put your head down and legs up. This is known as the sirsasan. Okay, do it and try it. And how many time? How much time can you stay like this? But when we were in our mother's womb. Our head was downwards and our leg were upwards. So whatever the type of mother food the mother eats, like sour, sweet, bitter, chili, all enters the body of the child and it affects it. The, the, the child also loses consciousness at some time. We have all forgotten what happened to us in the mother's home. In Srimad Bhagavatam, this is explained. What do you remember? I said, we will do seva and bhajan of yours. So if you believe or not, the promise that you have given, you have to follow your vow, your promise. Otherwise, you will be punished. That we will take birth from the mother and we will do bhajan. And he said, okay, wait for two more months. And nine or months passed by. He said, I cannot tolerate more. And then the Lord entered there. And he pushed. He pushed the child out. So this is the game. We have forgotten the Lord. We have forgotten the Lord. So, so we pick up our brother, sisters in our arms and we get completely absorbed in this material world. They're like small children playing at the back. We also were playing like this. So then we went to school, college and after that we started running after money. Why are you studying? Why are you studying? Why are you studying? What will you do with money? <laughs> what will you do with that when you buy a house? Who will live in this house? You will get married. It's like, so the difference between a house and a temple is in the house, the wife lives, and in temple, Sant Mahatma, Saint That's why we're saying. But still, our gurus say that make your house a temple. Who lives in the temple? Lord lives in the temple. And consider yourself a servant and devotee of the Lord. Don't make samsar of your house. What has happened in samshan? You like put dead bodies there. Don't make it like that. Don't make it like that. Where do we keep dead bodies? We keep it in the fridge. We are like completely don't have knowledge. So, and what do we do? We put like very fresh chicken, fish, beef, we put this in fridge. Like, like very bad. So, Kalyug, nobody even takes a bath. No. What is Hindutva? You should keep a tail. You should keep a pony hair in your head. Shikha. This is the... You should put tilak on your head. This is what's been explained in Srimad Bhagavatam. What are you listening? 
हृदय नी गोविंद स नर उसुर जो मनुष्य गले में त्रिकंठ धारण करते हैं। They don't have कंठे तुलसी माला in their throat। सुनिए सब अच्छी तरह से। Everyone listen properly। What am I saying? गले में क्या रखना चाहिए? You should have तुलसी माला। तुलसी माला in your throat। हम तो free में देते हैं। I give it to everyone for free। विदेश में लोग आए। In in foreign। कोई ब्राज़ील से है कोई। Someone from here is from America, Brazil, England. Someone is from Russia. See, these people have put proper tilaks or not? See, that person is from Lithuania, Europe. They have proper tilak, right? Why don't you do tilak properly? Put version of tilak. See, we feel very shy. Go to school, college. If we put tilak, people will shame us. People will joke on us. This is what's going on in society these days. So I'm asking you all to put tilak on your heads. So this all has been explained in scriptures. True or not? So Kapil Dev is saying, Mother, listen. You can sit on the chair. If wherever you feel comfortable, sit there. Cleanse your heart, cleanse your home. Otherwise, you will die and you will go to hell. Believe me or not. If you don't follow the rules, then you will go to hell. If you follow the rules of a country, then it's okay. But if you don't follow, then the country will punish you, right? If you cross a red light, you will have to pay a fine, right? It's a rule. Is it a rule or not? You have to follow the rules. In the Shrimad Bhagavatam, they are explaining it. All the jivas, all the people are suffering in this material world. All the people are suffering in this material world. All the people are suffering in this material world. So they are like suffering through a lot of lives in this world. Like being born as horse, elephant and like being born as horse and elephant and we are like moving into different bodies and taking birth in this material world again and again. So you can see in the image we move from different phases of life over and over again. So this is known as the cycle of birth and death. See, we are taking birth as all the animals, one by one. So Kapil Dev is explaining all of this in detail properly. So we have taken lives in 8400,000 bodies. And we are moving in this material world. So, Asanta Mahatma was explaining a very beautiful katha one day. So, so, when the India was colonized by the Britishers, British government, the British people, around 200 years, they ruled India. And big big politicians, they tried to capture India. So one time, Subhash Chandra Bose, there was a person, he came to Bhaktisthan Prabhupada and he asked, said, 
like we are trying to get India independent, give me blood, I will give you independence. Give me blood, I will give you independence. This was the slogan of Subhash Chandra And what are you doing? You are taking the army, you are taking the people who have potential to fight. You are taking them and engaging them in devotional practices. So, so you are t- t- keeping these beautiful boys, these strong boys and making them chant holy names. But give these boys to us. We, will, we can use them in the battle and we can get India independent. We can get India independent. And that time, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada, he said a very beautiful thing. He said, He said, are you Hindu? He said, yes. What is the best topmost book for Hindus? They said Bhagavad Gita. He said, we put hands on Gita and we take oath. We take a promise, we make a promise, we make a vow. You understand or not? Will you tell me one slope from Gita? And he said, I remember all the Gita. Prabhupada said, Okay, tell me. So, if a person thinks about something when they are about to die, they get the same body as they are thinking. So, when a person is dying, the type of thought they have in their mind, they will get the same body which is around that thought in the next life. Listen properly. I am saying the stories of Prabhupada. I am saying the truth. I am not explaining anything anything with my own purpose. I am explaining the stories of Prabhupada. He said, okay, you are going to get India independent. It is very nice, but, but who will they fight? They will fight the Britishers, right? But they will think about the Britishers, like, okay, I want to kill, kill the Britisher, I want to kill this Britisher. Then they will die, they will kill, kill each other, right? And they will keep remembering about that Britisher, then they will give up their body. And in the next life, they will be born, and what? He will be born as a Britisher. You tell me, you are Indian, and when you die, you will be a Britisher. So, who are you fighting for? Are you fighting for India or are you fighting for Britain? You understand or not? So, you will fight as an Indian, and but in next life, you will be born as a Britisher. In Gita, it is explained. Whatever thoughts you have when you die, you will get, you will get the same body in the next life. You will think, you will always think about Britisher, 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 this is my enemy, Britisher is my enemy. And in next life, you will be born as Britisher. And right now you are saying, I am Indian. And after you die, in next life, you will say, I am Britisher. So what is the truth? Everything is around the soul. The soul changes body like clothes. This is about me and you. This is just a war. It's like this is mine and this is yours. But the land, the place remains at the same place. The people die. Everyone has gone. We will also go one day. I am not going into politics. I am trying to explain scriptures here. So Kapil Dev said, He said, Hey mother, people are suffering in this material world. How do we get delivered from this material world? He said, Only by Hari Bhajan and Sadhu Sar. Kapil Dev said, Hey Mother, to Sadhu Sadhu, listen to the stories of Bhagavatam. Jivan ki saar hai. 
This is the essence of life. Listen to Harikata and chant all the So Kapil Dev told these stories to Mahadevati. Let's listen to the more Harikata after it. The Yuga Maharaj story would have put it very hard tapasya. He had two wives, one Suniti and Surichi. And Dhruva Maharaj was the son of Suniti and Uttam was the son of Surichi. One day, Uttam was sitting on his throne and Dhruva was five years old. He was trying to get onto his lap of his father and his brother pushed him down and he said, if you want to sit on the lap of your father, then you have to take birth to my womb. And to take birth in my womb, you have to worship Lord Hari. And Dhruv heard this and Dhruv left that place and cried a lot. And the king was so much absorbed in the love of his wife Surichi, he didn't say anything. All the child, they want the love of their father. But Surichi, she said very offensive thing to Dhruv. And Dhruv was very hurt. What did Dhruv do? He, he closed the door and he started crying. And his mother Suniti came. Then why are you crying? This is the responsibility and the topmost goal of the human body. Serve and chant the name of Lord. So we all have taken an oath that we will do bhajan of the Lord, but we have forgotten about it. Suniti said, I do bhajan of the Lord. And at night, Dhruv left home and he went for the to take darshan of Sri Hari. But, but until you have a shelter of Guru, Lord will not give you darshan. Having a shelter of Guru is very important. Even if you achieve the level of Shiva and Brahma, but still you don't have a Guru, you will not attain the Lord. So with the inspiration received by Sri Hari, Naraji came to Dhruv, Rishi, Dhruv Maharaj and he said, Naraji said, go back home. Go study, become a man and then come. But Dhruv Maharaj said one thing. He said, will I be alive till tomorrow? How, how will I do bhajan in old age? How will I perform spiritual practice in old age? A person who is knowledgeable, they start practicing spirituality at a young age. What happens in old age? You feel pain in your back. All, your, all the diseases attack you. In old age, you cannot perform spirituality properly. Maharaj said like this. So Narad Rishi gave him ma mantra. He said, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Everybody chant. Oh, yeah.
आदि शास्त्र करके मधुवन में भगवान भगवान के even big big devas big big demigods they are performing hard austerities to have darshan of the lotus feet of the lord but you have been extremely merciful on me you have been extremely merciful on me and you have given me darshan i don't want any boon from you i said drova like anyone who chants my holy name i give them everything He gave the kingdom to Dhruv. He said for like for sixteen thousand years, he ruled the kingdom. He made a pure place, a full loka, like Dhruv Lok for Dhruv, or like thirty-six thousand years. Thirty-six thousand years. Thirty-six thousand years he ruled for thirty-six thousand years. And he enjoyed everything. He had everything in his kingdom. And the god of death came to him. And he said, "This is Marajaga, like dead world. Like a person who is born into this world, they have to give up their body." So Dhruv come with me. Dhruv Maharaj said, "Okay, wait for two minutes here. I will chant this mantra." And the God of Death, he sat in the lotus feet of Dhruv Maharaj, and Dhruv Maharaj started to chant the mantra, "Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya." So, so when the mantra ended. Dhruv Maharaj make made a jump and entered Dhruv Lok. Even till today, so until when the sun is there, moon is there, Dhruv Lok will be there. So when you do bhajan of the Lord, you will get each and everything, money, wealth. You will get everything. This has been proved. So, so in the fifth canto, there is a story of Bharat Maharaj, who in his young age he gave up his kingdom and he did bhajan in forest. So one day he saw Bharat Maharaj. They had he saw a female deer. She was drinking water from a river. and a lion started to roar from the back and the female deer she gave birth to a small deer and she jumped into the river and died and at that time after some time bharat maharaj bharat maharaj hiran sahab ke chote bachche ko apne aashram mein rakha unke palan ko sar he took care of that little deer baby aur dekho ek din and one day hiran ke jhool aa gaya The herd of deers came, and that little deer went away with them. And Bharat Maharaj, he was thinking about that Hiran, and he died thinking about that deer. He died thinking about that deer, and the next life he had to take birth as a deer. This is the story of Bharat Maharaj. So whatever you think about when you die, after death you will get the similar body that will be dependent on your thoughts. See, he was a king. He became a saint, and still he got birth as a deer. He got born as a deer. But, but wherever the saints were there, 
The heron, the deer followed that place and he started crying. And the end time came and the deer gave up his body. At the next life, he got birth in Brahman Kul, in the family of Brahman, in Jadabhara. Then the story of Jharbhara. So Sukhdev Goswami Pad is explaining to Parikshit Maharaj that the humans are doing a lot of sins in this world and then they go to hell. They have to suffer in hell. People think there is no such place as hell. No. Whatever karmas, whatever deeds you do, they will have an equal and equal uh, a reaction. You will have to suffer your karmas. So there are eighty-four thousand types of hell. Eighty-four thousand types of hell in scriptures. Matri Hatta, Pitri Hatta, like killing your mother, killing your brother, killing your father, killing a cow. Depending on the type of sin, depending on the type of sin, you have to go to the god of Yamaraj. There is Chitra Yuga. He is like capturing each and every karma of yours every second. And Yamaraj shows all of them to you and they punish you. Parastri Gamankari. Like abusing women. Like these are the huge sins. All these sins get destroyed if you take the name of the Lord. Even if you are one your family, there is one Vaishnav, all of you will be, all your the sins of your family will be destroyed. There was a one big sinner, they were was like suffering in the hell. Do you know the meaning of Mishtha? They were like dipping him in the poop. Dipping him in the poop. And he was laughing when he was coming out. The people who were punishing, they said, why are you laughing? And the person said, do whatever you want today. Tomorrow you will wash my feet. They said, why? Because a Vaishnav has taken birth in my family. A Vaishnav is about to take birth in my family. Say, Even one Vaishnav in one family, all the ancestors of the mother and father, they all get delivered from the material world. They don't have to suffer through hell. In Swargalo, in the heaven, the demigods offer them flowers. And the earth celebrates when a Vaishnava is born. This is the glory of Vaishnav. This is true. Even if you chant the name of the Lord once, all your sins get destroyed. Sukhdev Goswami Pad is explaining. There is like a Brahman named Ajamil. He went to the forest. And he saw something and his mind got polluted. He left, he abandoned his parents and he started to live with Sudrani and he gave birth to ten children with, with that woman. And 84 years passed by like this. So, his last child he named Narayan. So when he was about to die, I am going to tell you in essence in short. He put the Narayan. When he called out his child, Narayan, 
विष्णु लोक में स्वयं नारायण के सिंहासन मिल गए So, Vishnu Lok, Narayan see shock, and he sent his servants to protect Ajamin. And there were Yamdut. There was Vishnu Dut and Yamdut, and he said, "Where are you going? Where are you going?" That we are going to take the sinner Ajamil. And the. Servants of Vishnu said, "He has chanted the name of the Lord once. You cannot take him to hell." That's what he said to the people coming from hell. The people of Vishnu said, "Is the people of hell?" It's like a huge mountain of a pound cotton. If you put a small fire in the corner, the whole cotton will burn, get burned. So similarly, if someone chants the holy name once, all their sins will get destroyed. So anyhow you take take the name of the Lord, it will have its effect. See, Ajamil called his son. He called it with intention of calling his son. He did not call it with intention to call Lord. He said Narayan. Sinners cannot take the name of the Lord. So, if someone's son name is Ram. And say, Ram. what is the name? He said, Ram. The father won't Ram. say anything. He won't say anything. How much money I have in the bank? Hapu, bapu, daku, chingu, dingu. They are having stupid names of the, their child. Chandra ki. Tulsi Das ji is saying. So e- even if you chant it opposite way, it's like Mara, Mara, Mara. So so it will turn out as Ram. Like Mara, 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 Mara. So Tulsi Das Ji is saying, even if you chant it reverse, it will have its fruits. It will bless you still. Ajamil, अपने बेटा के नाम लेकर पुकारा और देखो. Ajami called his son and see he went to Vaikunth. I will let's move forward. So now we have come to seventh canto, seventh canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam. The story of Prahlad Maharaj, Hinaksha Hari Kashapu. And at the end, in the eighth canto, eighth canto, the Gajagra story. Gajendra Makshan ki lila kada sravan karaya. Gajendra Makshan ki lila kada sravan karne se. Listening to this story, all your obstacles will go away. Any obstacles may come in your life. When you listen to the story of Gajendra Makshan of Sri Mad Bhagavata, all your obstacles will go away. So this elephant was a king. He left the world and went to forest. And one day in ashram, Agastrishi came, and he did not offer proper respect to the saint. And so the saint cursed them. That okay, you take birth as an elephant now. And listening to this, the king started to cry. He said, "Please forgive me." He said, "I've given you a curse now. You will be born as an elephant now." So Lord Hari will help you. This is the story of Satya. And that Gajendra, that elephant, he went with his female elephant and his children, his family. He was taking a bath in the river, and at that place there was a crocodile. It was. He was about to die. The elephant was about to die. The crocodile has trapped his the elephant's leg. So because he had sukritis from his pious activities from his past life. 
एक कमल के उठाया सो ही पिक्ड अप लोटस देखो सन भगवान पुक्त अप लोटस एंड ऑफर्ड इट एंड गुरु के पीठ पर आकर के सुशील चक्र के द्वारा वो मगर मच्छर को मार डाला सो द लॉर्ड केम विद एंड यूज्ड सुदर्शन चक्र एंड ही किल्ड द क्रोकोडाइल भगवान की एंड ही डिलीवर्ड दिस एलिफेंट So who was delivered first? This crocodile. And why this crocodile also troubled the saint first? And he was also cursed by someone. Cursed by a huge saint. So he was trying to He was trying to pull the leg of a saint and trying to drag them to the river. So the saint cursed him. Okay, you go and be born as a crocodile. Are Bhagwan Sri Hari tumhe rakha kar diya. He said, "Lord Hari will protect you." So, what is the story essence here? So, who got delivered first from the material world? Elephant. The elephant was the devotee of the Lord. And what did the crocodile do? He was holding the legs of that elephant. So, who holds the feet, lotus feet of the devotee first? I delivered them from this material world first. I will deliver the devotees first, but there is no doubt. I will deliver the devotees first, but. But I will deliver the people who are holding the feet of my devotees. I will deliver those people first. So after this leela, there is a leela of Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj. So it is almost eight o'clock now. So Hiranaksha, Hiranagashipu. Pralad Maharaj, Bhaktivedanta. Pralad Maharaj was a devotee. Hiranagashipu was a demon, and his son Pralad. And who was the son of Pralad? Virochan. Virochan. Virochan, Bhaktivedanta. Virochan was not a devotee. Bali Maharaj. And his son was Bali Maharaj, and he was a devotee. Who was there? His guru, Shukra Acharya. A guru who does not show the right destruction is not a guru. A guru is not a guru if he is not providing right direction to the disciple. Friend is not a friend if they are not leading you to the right path. That mother is not a mother who is not giving the good advice or showing the right direction to the children. What is sadhutpesh? What is the right path? It is chant the holy names and do bhajan. You have to live in this material world, okay? Doctor, you become a doctor, become a lawyer. Become anyone, but do bhajan and sadhan. There are twenty-four hours in one day. How how much time can you give to the Lord out of those twenty-four hours? Do twenty-three hours work. I only ask one hour from you guys. Okay, not even one hour. Can you give ten minutes? So 23 hours, 50 minutes, invest in yourself and your work. And for God, I only ask you guys to give 10 minutes. What will you do in those 10 minutes? Chant holy names. Can you give 10 minutes to the Lord? 23 hours, 50 minutes. Do your work. Eat, sleep, do whatever you want. Play, do whatever you want. I only ask for 10 minutes. Lift up your hands. Who will give 10 minutes? At least. Everyone lift up your hands. Very nice. Chant holy names. I, I ask everyone to chant holy names. I will give malas to everyone. I will give jap malas to everyone tomorrow. Sit in front of me and chant one round at least. One round 
it takes 5 to 7 minutes or maximum 10 minutes just chant one round of holy names one round who will chant one round of holy names lift up your hands like everyone okay do everyone do it you all will be blessed Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Chant holy names. are chanting it and some are not. The people who are chanting, all their sins get destroyed. All the sins are moving away. Where are they going? They are going towards the head of the people who are not chanting. <laughs> you all will have headache. Everyone chant. <laughs> So these people are foreigners. They chant or not, ask them. They are sitting here. Why are you guys not chanting? Chant the holy names. So people are coming here from England, America, Russia, Europe. These people are chanting the holy names. And we are Indians. We are not even chanting the holy names. Lord is of everyone. He does not discriminate between Christian, Hindu, Muslim or anyone. Yeah. The owner of everyone is one, it's the God. We just have to chant the names of the Lord. Someone chants the name of Allah. Someone chants the name of Ram, Krishna Nam. There is no difference. It's all one. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Look, now we come to the story. I don't have to take time. Okay, I'll continue Hare Kata now. Look, Bali Maharaj, when the king was king, So when Bali Maharaj was king, He was king with his king, He was king with his king, He was king with his king, and, and demigods were going here and there and the Aditi, the mother of all devatas, she, she prayed to the Lord and Lord himself, he appeared in form of Vamandev because Bali Maharaj has taken over heaven, the kingdom of the, demi, the devatas, right? So Bali Maharaj was performing a fire sacrifice and he liked to offer daan, give donations to whoever came. Vaman was like a very little boy, like very beautiful. And this is the 
सन ऑफ अदिति वामन देव भगवान की जय वेर इज वामन देव भगवान कॉल इम भगवान इट्स एट ओ क्लॉक नाउ आई थोल यू विल अपियर एट ओ क्लॉक एक बलि महाराज की जाए बलि महाराज बलि महाराज आकर के कर लिए महाराज आई एम ब्राह्मण गिव मी सम डोनेशन क्या नाम दे बताओ मुझे एंड ओके आई वॉन्ट लैंड दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री फुट अपने पैर के द्वारा त्रिपाद भूमि सो आई विल कवर द लैंड आई वॉक माई लाइक थ्री टाइम्स my leg is just 1.5 inches and bali maharaj started laughing like you're very small your size is small and your brain is small <laughs> he said i am a king